What's up guys, Visual here, but you can call me James, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can make a Behance portfolio. So guys, this is my Behance on the screen right now. Uh, I tend not to really use it uh, too much now, because I do actually have my own website. But as you can see right now, it's a really, really professional way of showcasing your work. So as you can see here, I've got tons of different projects. Uh, this one is more photography based and I edited it in Photoshop. I will leave a link to it in the description if you would like to check uh, my projects out. Here I've got a Twitch branding that I did for a streamer called Mouse Sinner. And then I've got some social media designs as well as my little logo collection and um, my personal identity this was this was my old logo if you guys didn't know it um, but yeah I'll leave a link to that in the description like I did say before and it's really really professional it's for uh, sort of professional designers people that design for companies like coca-cola um, really big companies actually showcase their work on Behance but anyways guys in this video I'm actually going to be showing you how you can make your own portfolio on this website uh, once you are on the main website page, like I said, link in the description down below, just press the sign up button. This will take you to the Adobe ID sign up page. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign up and then I'll be back with you guys. So guys, as you can see right here, I've just made myself an Adobe ID. I'm just going to press a sign up. I just used a fake mail generator just for the sake of this video, as you can see right here, because I may actually need to verify my address. I'm not going to save this. But as you can see, once you do make the account, it asks to um, obviously press what you are interested in. So just scroll through this and just click on the ones you are interested in. Obviously, we have graphic design, illustration, um, what other ones should we click here? Uh, advertising and also, yeah, that no, that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead, click those and then press see my custom feed. And then based on your uh, favorites that you've just clicked on, it will actually give you an activity feed with a load of big designers that obviously work for companies and as you can see right here it says whether it's illustration, advertising, graphic design and uh, this will definitely give you a whole lot of inspiration. As you can see here at the top you've got the activity page which is sort of the main page uh, like I was on before it just shows you all of the people you are following if you would like to follow someone uh, say you found some work that you like just go and click on their page say I want to follow this person just click on their page and then just press the follow button this is exactly the same as Twitter but as you can see like I said this is the activity page then you've got the discover page so once you're on this you can search for something so say you want to search for a geometric design I would just type in geometric design just like that and it would search for it and it would give you uh, designs based off the design you just searched for so it's a really great search feature there you can also uh, follow a lot of people here and it's much simpler than the activity page after those two you do have the profile so if you click on that this will open up your profile and that is really nice we're going to go back to that I'm just going to quickly show you that there is a jobs page so if you click on this you can actually uh, get hired by some uh, clients for freelance work and that's a really good way to actually get clients I've never actually used this but I'm sure it does work out quite well but anyways going back to the profile page as you can see here you've got my profile and my team page that's if you're a part of a uh, Behance team you don't really have to worry about that at the moment but once you're on your profile you can now mess around with a lot of the stuff so as you can see here if we press this little edit button you can see we've got um, our name I just put in a fake name and then you've got your occupation so you may be as you can see here, a senior designer, art director, um, I'm just going to put in a, a freelance graphic designer. So as you can see there, I just put in freelance graphic designer. If you don't know what freelance means, that means you work for yourself and you're not actually a part of a company or a business. So I'm going to leave the company one blank and under the United Kingdom city, we're just going to put London in there. And um, there you see underneath that you have a website URL. So I put my YouTube channel so you can go ahead and put that. It's completely up to you there. So I just put my YouTube channel pretty basic. And then just below that you can see you can join a team if you enter their team name. You don't have to do that. And then you've got the about me section. Um, if I go to my portfolio here, you can see on this side I've got 
um, my focus points so I have branding graphic design and icon design uh, you can actually add those focus points in a minute but first of all I would edit the about me as you can see here this is the about me that I did you don't have to even copy this I wouldn't recommend actually copying this I would recommend writing your own but just say something along the lines of hi my name's Bob say I'm 16 years old and I live in London UK I specialize in just sort of write something that if people go onto your page they know what you specialize in uh, they know a little bit about you as you can see on my one I just talk about uh, how long I've been designing for and it just lets clients know a little bit more about you another section you can add right here is on the web I believe there is a section here uh, you've got add work experience as well um, we're gonna completely ignore that but when you go to add a custom section as you can see here you can add these section titles so you can say specializations and then you can just write there you can say Adobe Photoshop uh, you can say cinema 4d it's completely up to you but that that sort of bit you have to customize yourself so as you can see here I put the programs I specialize in so if I wanted to do that I could just copy this myself and as you can see here the programs I specialize in Adobe Photoshop CC Adobe Illustrator CC and um, then if a client actually looks on your portfolio they know what you specialize in they know that you're good at Photoshop and also Cinema 4D another section that is really important is the contact me page um, I'm just gonna I'll let you guys completely copy this I like I said I will leave a link to my page if you do want to just copy my uh, sort of what I've put but change it to uh, your own so as you can see here I've just got if you wish to contact me regarding an order or question feel free to tweet me or send me an email so at least give two options for the clients so if they don't have Twitter they can email you and if they don't have an email they can actually just tweet at you so once you have finished with the custom sections just go up to the top as you can see wait for it to say your changes have been saved and then just click back to your uh, back to your profile and as you can see you now have an about me page uh, you don't need to do anything on the work experience and then you've got the programs I specialize in and so forth now as you can see here you've got add your first project so if you press the upload files button that will open up the project editor and uh, you can just upload your files and what's good about Behance is you can really customize it and um, as you can see here I don't really talk about my Behance portfolio too much but say on this one I've still got 262 views that means that you can get a lot of clients just by posting on Behance also a lot of the time if you just post a lot you will actually get on the discover page and uh, you can then obviously uh, normal clients will look on the Behance page to hire people and you may even get some free clients if we look here I'm just gonna select any random project let's say this one um, Behance is mainly for uh, sort of complex work you don't want to just upload one single banner on here uh, even my social media designs this page is a bit bland because I've just got the one design itself um, it's mainly for sort of a project so you can talk about your project and what what this makes it really good for is things like when you're hiring for a college or something like that um, or you just want to get yourself a uh, client you can show them your Behance and they can see uh, the progress of your work and how you've got better over time as you can see here this project is based off a bunch of images a bunch of videos and it's not just one main picture even though as you can see here uh, the thumbnail does show just one picture it shows you the whole process of this and it's really really in depth as you can see right here I'm just I keep scrolling this project is very very large it must have taken this guy a very long time but as you can see here this guy is getting tons of views off this project and if you go to the bottom you can actually appreciate the work and uh, that's sort of just a lot it's almost like liking a tweet on uh, Twitter but it's just sort of on the Behance website so guys go ahead make yourself a Behance mess around with the projects and then guys once you have done that make sure to link me your portfolios in the comments down below and I will be sure to check them out anyways guys if you are wondering why I did a uh, tutorial on Behance not carbon made I have actually done a carbon made portfolio tutorial it's really old but I will leave a link to that in the in the description down below so you can check that out and uh, the reason you use Behance like I said 
is uh, if you sort of want to show off more than just one banner, you want to get clients, it's a whole lot more professional. So if you're looking for the professional side of graphic design, make sure to make yourself a Behance portfolio. Anyways guys, that is it for this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you have any questions about the website, please be sure to put them in the comments down below. Like I did say before, hope you did enjoy the video. This has been Visual or James and I'm out. Peace. No, no, no.